Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Unleash the power of customization and learn how to inject custom code into your Squarespace website. Whether it's for analytics or unique design elements, this guide ensures you have the keys to the digital kingdom. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, sometimes as you can see here, um, Squarespace isn't enough. So the tools that they are giving you in Squarespace, maybe they are not always enough for you to actually uh, handle your creativity. Sometimes you have to take it by your own hands and create something special by coding it. But the only thing that's stopping you from it is the question. Can I actually do it? Can I? Okay, let's say that I have made a sign up form using a code how can i add it to my squarespace website is it possible is it not well in this video we are going to discover all of that so the first thing guys that i will need you to do is to simply uh, go ahead and open your website the first thing which is obvious and then here i would like to create a new uh, page so let's create a new page so show pages and here let's create a new one which we're gonna call it test here we go test page and here we go we are now on the test page so now i'm going to add here a section and let's choose anything it could be literally anything we can either add a black section let's add it to be blank which is perfectly what you want and here so basically will tell me so that is simply just click on text and ask for example let's go for chat gpt because i really that can't code anything by my own so give me a code in html uh, for a sign up form here we go and now you would ask me should i simply just copy this code and paste it right there well let's try it out and f configure it out by each with each other so here we go let's copy this code go there paste it and this is basically what you would get um, even though it seems like you would code something but yeah it's just gonna be as a text here so basically this method is not gonna work it is a paragraph here as you can see they are not detecting it as a code it is a paragraph so even if you click anywhere they're not going to actually fix it for you so what should we do to actually add a customizable code should we pay extra money no, we should simply follow me step by step. So the same thing that we did with adding a text here, if we clicked on add a blog, you will find all of these different kind of basic stuff. So here you will find text, image, button, video, form, audio, newsletter, accordion, shape, scrolling, line, codes, map, embed, markdown, and finally code. This is what you want. So let's click here on it. As you can see here, simply all you need to do is to go ahead, paste your code, and here it is. We have literally made a sign up form using HTML and uh, basically uh, inserting the code, basically using ChatGPT. We have inserted the code in here using HTML. So here you can choose what language it is, for example, CSS, JavaScript, Markdown, Plain Text, depending on what it is. Uh, display source code here. If you wanted to display only the source code, not the actual uh, form, uh, here the form, as I said, it could be CSS, JavaScript, or either one of the, these three things. Um, let's just remove this, okay? Uh, if you would like to add it in, for example, JavaScript, so give it to me now in JavaScript. Okay, so now they are just going to give us. In JavaScript so we just have to wait so recently while this email handles the structure and uh, presentation of the forms of scripts can be used to add intergravity uh, interactivity and perform actions when the form is submitted so here they have added some JavaScript into it we can copy and this is maybe can cause a little bit of problem. So as you can see here, this blog contains embedded scripts. Embedded scripts are disabled while you are logged in and editing your site. So this is the thing that is basically uh, disabled. So now what we have to do is to save. 
and now we can preview in safe mode so when you preview it in safe mode you can see literally everything from username email and password but as you can see using java and html at the same time can cause a lot of problems so this is completely up to you if you would like to use it that way but for me i'd rather use either html alone javascript alone and css alone because uh, trust me guys uh, it's it doesn't handle more than that the squarespace only allows you to use one language at once so you're trying to use multiple ones i gonna literally just make it harder for the website to understand what you are looking for and maybe maybe you will <laughs> crash your website somehow but basically in general here we can simply just put here email email and here like a random password let's try to put here username um sorry guys <laughs> uh preview let's go back exit all right like that so here we go let's just oh my god i'm clicking double click that's why this is happening and here password sign up and basically nothing is gonna happen why so well because as I said uh, there is no background back end there's only the front end here there's only HTML going around there is no back end that can actually gives the permission to submit this to a database where it can be saved and etc and so go on so it's going to only be shown for us for a while until we refresh the page and it's going to be removed so this is the maximum amount of information that we can put but in general this is for a hard thing which is such as uh, sign up form but if you were just going to go for something pretty simple just as a design just as something that you would use as an html code this will be very useful but in general so the main idea from this video guys you can actually add an embed code to your website simply by clicking on edit and after that just go into another section click add block and choose what kind of code uh, that what kind of block you want to add here we want to add a code then make sure to click on this edit button choose the correct language that you are going to go for there is css html and javascript uh, there is markdown or not going for in plain text but in general these are the main ones after you finish with choosing which one you would like to go for you simply have to get the code from your own brain you just uh, code here something or you get it from chat gpt as an example but this is what you have to go for in general just one language at once don't go for more than one and don't go for back end stuff just go for uh, front end stuff because you know so, uh, squarespace is basically for easy tasks nothing complicated so when you try to do some back end with it especially with a language that might not match their uh, their framework well then you might have a lot of problems in your website so stay away from that for to not cause any harm to your site and your audience so guys that was it for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and subscribe and thank you guys for watching